Hi, Rebecca, thanks. While the search intensifies tonight, we want to remind you how this all started. Now, this is Deborah Johnson, the correctional administrator for the West Tennessee State Penitentiary that was found dead at her home on prison property yesterday, shortly before noon. That sparked the lockdown at the prison and the discovery that Watson had escaped while on work duty. Watson has officially been named a suspect in her murder. Investigators today releasing these mugshots from Watson's prior convictions on the left of your screen. You can also see the newly released photos from inside the prison of Watson shortly before he escaped. The Henry County Sheriff tells us Watson does have family in the county and surrounding areas, but the TBI says there have been no confirmed sightings of him. Person was at the lowest point of his life that need to reconcile with God did that to her. A lifelong friend of Deborah Johnson says he can't believe this mother and grandmother is gone. He talks to News Force Forrest Sanders tonight about the last words he got to say to Deborah and the many years that make up their story. Everybody knew everybody. We played poor square in the street. It's a long way back with me still being a teenager, but it's just so many fun, fun memories. Growing up together in Cumberland Gardens, Herman Patton always knew lifelong friend Deborah Johnson would become someone grand. Sure enough, she became a 38-year Department of Correction veteran, a correctional administrator for West Tennessee. The two never lost touch, still seeing each other many Sundays at 15th Avenue Baptist. Deborah was often standing back there, working as an usher. We're talking 50 years or more of knowing a person. And that's why today, is so painful for Herman. I got a call and they said that they had found her dead. Why her? Escaped inmate Curtis Ray Watson is a suspect in Deborah's murder. You could have got away. Yes, you probably could have talked to her if you needed to. You did not have to murder her. You did not. Thinking back on all those years together, Herman is grateful he got to say something to Deborah just last Sunday. I took her communion from her and told her I love like, like we always normally do, not knowing this would be the last time I would see her. We love you, Deborah. We never will forget you. We never will forget you, Deborah. We love you. In Nashville, I'm Boris Sanders, News 4.